There are exactly 1,440 minutes in one day. Biologically, we are conditioned to focus most of our attention on ourselves. It is a survival instinct. Maybe that is why I'm barely surviving the 10th grade. Okay, so if conditions are ideal, what is the average speed of the car, Jenna? Um, 47? No. 52. Wrong. Lucas? Lucas? And the thing is, I know the answer is 49.72. I can do the math in my sleep. But the only sound in my ears is Allison Schaefer tapping her pencil behind me because she is nervous that Jake won't text her back. I wish I didn't have to pay attention to these things so I could answer the dumb question. Lucas! That's enough, Allison. He's never gonna text you back if you annoy him with all that tapping. Whatever, weirdo. So I don't have a lot of friends, but there is one girl I talk to. Well, Lucy doesn't really talk. She's deaf. But she signs things to me and I make educated guesses about what she is saying. Hi, Lucas. No, I'm not interested in the cheeseburgers on the lunch menu today, Lucy. There is something I wanted to talk to you about. Because they are gross and made out of plastic. I was wondering if you wanted to come over today and study with me. You're right, Lucy. This is an outrage. Lucy really gets me. Like, when we're in a crowd, most people hear... I just just my animals around too! Right. But my brain makes me hear every little detail. Party at my house this Friday! You can totally copy my homework, Jenna. I just think animals are people too! But when I'm with Lucy, my brain just focuses on the way her hands move. She says more without words than most people do with them. And that's a good thing. I don't really like loud noises, so I wear my headphones. Lucy doesn't mind. Other people do. The cafeteria is the worst. Yo, it's the freak with the headphones. What, are you gonna signal for Mars or something? Guys, don't be rude. He has a disability. If you love him so much, why don't you go sit with him? Well, shut up. I like your headphones. If you must know, I have indeed contacted Mars and they are not happy about the Land Rover. There is one particular symbol that Lucy uses a lot, and I like it because it makes her hands flow back and forth as if she has found a balance in this very loud and very mixed up world. I looked up the symbol on the internet. It means Jesus. Amen. Lucy took me to church with her, but it got really loud. And we know that in all things, Come on. God works for the good of those who love yes, him. Yes, he does. And who have been called according to his. Amen. I didn't understand why everyone was so excited, but I knew that Lucy was happiest when she had her hands raised. You know, Lucas, nobody's perfect. I know that. Your friend Lucy has found someone who accepts her, and he accepts you too, Lucas. I didn't know what he meant, but I knew that Jesus made my friend Lucy very happy. Maybe that's why, when the gunshot went off in Sixth Period the next day, Lucy wasn't afraid. Everyone was screaming, and in that very loud, very awful moment, I wished to be Lucy, to have my ears blocked so that I wouldn't have to hear every little detail. Oh my gosh! Get under the chair! No, please, no! Lucy wasn't afraid to die that day, but she wasn't the only one that did. 13, 14, 15, the, the news kept saying the soccer player, the drama star, the, the deaf girl. We are never prepared for these kind of tragedies. This isn't right! How can we let this happen? I have to wake up tomorrow knowing I don't have a sister anymore. We need to protect our students. More gun control. How could you say that? We need guns! There are exactly 1,440 minutes in a day. Biologically, we are conditioned to focus most of our attention on ourselves. Uh, I'm not good at making friends. But there was a girl named Lucy who spent her 1,440 minutes accepting me because a man named Jesus accepted her. And I don't know about you, but Lucy believed in a God who hears. 
and I don't want to hide from him anymore. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. <laughs>